Hey, it's Anastasia and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I want to talk to you about the best resources and books for learning quantum computing. So what I really wanted to talk about today is I get a ton of DMs asking, I want to be in quantum computing. Where do I start? What do I learn? And that's always been a really hard question for me to answer because I have a physics degree. I went through the traditional schooling. I went through the courses. I was in a research lab in the quantum field since my freshman year. So I started researching because we need to get people ramped up. They come from a computer science background, um, engineering background, something else, and we need to get them caught up on quantum without telling them to go get a physics degree. So this is the holy grail book. What I do like about this book is how accessible it is. It covers pretty much everything you need to know to be involved in quantum computing, at least at some basic level. Obviously, if you want to go more into software, if, if you want to go more into hardware, you'll need to learn more. But this at least gives you the introduction to it and additional resources to get you further, depending on where you want to go. When you go to the first few chapters, it does an introduction, talks about brief history of quantum computing. But there's also a guide in here on how to use the book, depending on who you are. If you're a university instructor, how to use this book in your classroom, how to split it up. If you're a CS graduate student or a physics graduate student, if you're coming as a physicist from another field and you need to get ramped up on that. With software engineers, they say read the first two chapters, which are the introduction and the history of quantum computing, and then go to the math toolkit. So what I feel is if you go to a standard quantum mechanics textbook, I have my undergraduate Griffiths textbook right here, old edition, second edition. There's a newer one out, I think. It covers quantum mechanics, but it doesn't really talk about quantum computing or anything like that. It does teach you the math. I do think this information is important, but maybe it's not the most interesting thing to start out with, but this is my, my undergrad textbook. Um, I let my dad borrow the graduate school textbook, which is Shankar, so I don't have it here with me, but that's another option for kind of a higher level. Like I feel like for all these, you're just required to have a certain math background that you, if you don't have, you're gonna be really frustrated when you look at the book. But really in general, I feel like this book is pretty well geared towards software engineers and people who are new to physics, new to the field, but have some technical background, some math background, and, and wanna get into quantum computing. And this will lay out kind of the intro to everything that you need to know. So if you do want to get more rigorous of a treatment of quantum computing itself, this is the classic quantum computation and quantum information. It's a big, thick, heavy book. This is my third copy because I keep letting people borrow it. This is a nice new clean copy that I that I have. But this is mathematically rigorous. This can be used as a textbook as well, and, and it says that, but I feel like it's just an, a little bit of an easier read. It's a little more colloquial, so co colloquial. So starting from here, maybe using this in conjunction, so that's what they suggest for physics graduate students, just get these two books, read one, uh, and go more in depth than in this book. That's another way to do it. What I do really like about this, like, this is, this is a math textbook, this is a physics textbook, that's what you're going to learn. This has code in it. Right, so you, you can use a bunch of the software development kits and then actually has code examples and they have a GitHub as well with the examples. So you can, you can go through the tutorials here, actually run this on real quantum computers, see the results. Another book I really do like is, this is a new one that came out recently and I've been using as a reference as well, Programming Quantum Computers. So for a lot of people that are in software, I think one of the best ways to learn is actually run code on a real quantum computer. I mean, all these books, honestly, do have introductions to quantum in general. They're all going to explain to you that a qubit is in a superposition of a zero or one. They'll have that explanation in this as well, but this is more focused on actual code and programming and notations. And remember, most of these SDKs are built on Python, so got to know Python before starting that. There's a book online that I like called Learning Python the Hard Way, I believe. There's also Coursera courses, so honestly, I, I mean, disclaimer, I used to work at Coursera, so I still have all the courses for free. But Python for Everyone by Dr. Chuck Severance is a great introduction to programming at a very basic level. If, if you don't have that background, going through that Python for Everyone course will teach you about loops, about variables, about computational thinking, and then you can move on and use these SDKs on top of that Python. Gotta know Python. So they're just gonna be more code samples here because this, they're about the same size. The books are 
kind of the same size. There's more depth treatments depending on what you want to do. Oh, I found a business card in this book. Quantum machine learning. So if you want to do quantum machine learning applications, it's like, look, it's really expensive though. This is, this is really expensive while this, I think this is like 30 bucks, which is also why I really like it. Like this is, this is great. There's online courses as well. So I actually took the MIT X Pro professional certificate. I do think the MIT X professional certificate in quantum computing is good. It's pretty rigorous. It goes through a lot of things, but you do need a pretty strong math background, even though it's targeted kind of towards business people. The math gets really intense really quickly. So if you're not used to that, I, I think it can be a little overwhelming and it is pricey. So I'd say if you want to start, start with the books. Uh, honestly, the books are great. These are kind of my go-to's. Undergrad textbook. I'll throw up a picture of my graduate textbook here as well. If you want to go the physics route, then start with this. I think this is a great introduction. And then if you want to go in more in depth, just get this book, get the classic, cross-reference this with the other books as well. And then if you want to do more coding. Thank you so much for watching and going on my tour of my favorite quantum computing books. If you have any questions, comment down below, like and subscribe if you want more videos about quantum computing. This is Quark. He's been with me from my third year of undergrad and I've dragged him across the country. And he's really cute. And he's not liking me doing filming YouTube videos during his outplay.